You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know on Twitter the gaming drag today, I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Undefeated. So y'all, I wanted to go ahead and mention to you briefly about my affiliate deal. So I am now an official affiliate with Green Man Gaming. What this means is that there will be a link to Green Man Gaming posted in the description of this video. If you guys want to buy games, just click on that link, buy something, and I get credit for it, which makes me money, and you guys get awesome discounts on all the latest games. Well, I can't say all. Most of the latest games. Anyway, all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. Alright. Crowds aren't really my thing. I'll find some way to kill time until things die down. You could stick around. We always need more help coaching. Well, I have to... You will have to wear the hat, yes. Hard pass. Thanks for the offer, though. Anytime, bud. Rest up, yeah? We nod each other off, and I make my way down the hall. I suppose that's two people I have to be on the lookout for now. Bruce and that Ryan guy. Though, hopefully that talk he had with Bucky will keep him off my back. Ryan's also a lot closer to my size than Bruce is, so I could probably handle the situation in a worst-case scenario. I've had run-ins with guys like with guys like that when I was an amateur circuit torpedo. Amateur, when I was an amateur, when is, I was in my amateur circuit topside. I was about to say I'm an amateur circuit torpedo. <laughs> yes, I have uh, partaken a little bit of the uh, <clears throat> devil's grass, if you will. Anyway, I just keep my mouth shut. Don't say anything that could start a fight. Anything I have to say in response can be said after the fight is over. And winning those kinds of fights got me the promotion I needed to get into Fang. It's not exactly a promotion in hindsight, but I guess anything to get out of me. To get me out of my get me out of that dead end rut, even if this ended up being another dead end rut. Ugh! I hate thinking like that. I've got to find something to distract me. Hang out with Redline, watch people train, talk with Drayden. I was really tossed out of the frying pan into the fryer from one shitty situation to an actively dangerous one, and now I'm going to now I'm going down here for who knows how long. I passed by the gym I was walking in yesterday. Yesterday, everything felt so different just a day ago. Even though so little happened. I wonder if I'd feel any better if I had talked to the commissioner. If I hadn't talked to the commissioner. If I hadn't made that comment. If I hadn't even looked at head kick. My situation would still be the same, but at least I'd feel like I have some hope. My ribs hurt again. My breathing is getting heavier and I can feel my body getting hot. I want to punch something. I want to punch the commissioner or Bruce or hell, whoever's in my way. I need to talk to someone before something happens and I hurt myself. On accident or on purpose. Whatever that was yesterday. Fuck it. What about the phone and call up Drayden? He gave me his number after my last fight with Bruce. It rings once, then he picks up. H Hello, Xander! That sing-songy infection, that sing-songy inflection is contagious. Hey, doctor, are you free? Of course! Is everything alright? My ribs hurt. I'm exactly alive, but I think I just need someone to talk with. I, I don't think I can get you more pain pills. No, I don't need any of that. Oh, good! Are you resting? I sigh. Look, can I just come see you? There's a weird pause, and but Drayden speaks. Of course, Xander! I'll be in the room you had earlier. Cool. I'll see you then. I hang up and make my way toward the med bay. Maybe he can help me. I don't know. Figure out a solution or give me some sort of distraction for not being able to work out? Oh, I love that handsome. He's handsome, boy. Before I know it, I'm sitting up in that bed. Again, and Drayden's sitting across from me. Again. The feline smiles at me. A pleasure to see you again, Xander. What can I do for you? You said your ribs were acting up again? I fidget. Yeah, uh, I was helping Bucky out, and I just started, uh... Drayden frowns. I thought I said... I know, I know, I wasn't exercising or anything, so you don't need to worry about that. You can even ask Bucky, he took care of me, I... The pain pulses again, this time getting annoying. This, this is getting annoying. Why can't I just say what I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need to fight through this. I need to get out of this contract, and I need to start doing what I came down here to do. But if I don't rest, my body won't be ready to train again. If I'm not training, I can't win the fight. If I can't win the fight, I'll end up getting hurt again and get back and get sent back here and... Xander? Xander? I look up. Drayden looks a little more concerned than before. You spaced out. Yeah. He smiles. Uh, Bucky says you've been doing that a lot. I sigh and Drayden readjusts himself on the chair. What's going on, Xander? Fine. It's... Everything's been bad since I got down here. I thought things were going to be easier. I thought once I got into the league, it would be like it was topside, but with less worry. I could just train and fight. No more dead-end job. No more money troubles. No more of my shitty compartment. No more. Just then my phone buzzes violently in my pocket. I peek at the screen. No more of these stupid fucking calls. I toss the phone next to me onto the bed. Who's calling you? My dad. 
Oh, it's been a while since you've seen your family. But judging from your reaction just now, something tells me you don't want to. Can I, can I ask why you don't pick up? That's a bit of a heavy subject. Maybe I could help you carry it. I glare at him. He clicks his pen and smiles at me. You're not gonna make me do some weird psychohypnosis bullshit, are you? He pauses for a moment. I don't like how long it lasts. Not unless it's necessary. And that was a joke. Drayden clears his throat. So your father. Maybe this was a mistake. I close my eyes as I speak. Dad was... an asshole. I mean, he wasn't always bad. I remember growing up, he would take me out to ball games and fights. But none of that gay pro wrestling shit. But none of that uh gay. Uh, we only ever went to watch MMA fights, and we would watch stream and we would stream Fang fights. But back when he could get me to watch with him, watch them with him. That sounds like fun. Did you enjoy it? I did. I think I did. I hear the cat write something down. It feels like I'm giving him too much information. Uh, did something happen to change that? My dad uh lost his job. Back when I was just getting into high school, I had to pick your father up from the police station. He got in a fight with a coworker. They fired you. They fired you over that? Good riddance. People like that should just keep it in the bedroom. Uh. He just sort of sat around the house ever since. Complained a lot. Drank a lot more. H how old are you, Xander? 24. He scribbles something down. That must have been hard on your family. A shrug. Mom supported us, and with Dad and unemployment, we went from only sort of broke to pretty broke. So. So money was tight from the start. Yeah, I mean, they always did their best, I think. I, I got a nice present or two for Christmas, and they paid for my boxing classes. Well, Dad used to. Said it was going to make me into a real man. Braden sort of snickers at that. Do you think it worked? Probably not in the way that he wanted. Do you like boxing, Xander? I did. I mean, I, I do still, but MMA just feels more natural to me. I'm a lot more flexible now than I was when I was younger. I can wrestle a lot better, too, and it made me braver and... Hmm. I don't want you to be near that coach. You're doing MMA now. Dad never like Dad never did like my boxing coach. Why not? They had their differences. Your father just wants what's best for you. You're gonna be fighting with real men, none of those queers in that other gym. If my Ugh. I do not like that. If my son ended like that, I'd just shoot him on the spot. The guys at Dad's new gym were intense. They were a lot harder than my friends in boxing. Get, get any knockouts? No, they hit me too hard, Dad. Just like every class. I don't feel good. Don't be such a pussy. It builds character. When I was a kid, you get your ass beat for even looking at a guy wrong. But it's fine. I turned 16 and I got a job and moved out. Drayden goes quiet for a second. I open my eyes to see him holding out a tissue. I didn't realize the tears rolling down my face. I feel like we skipped over a bit of that. Why did you move out? I... Hmm, so we're getting a lot of character backstory now. Alex, your father found your phone. We saw some interesting things. Did you send these messages? What the fuck were you thinking? I don't... I can't do this. Stop. You see the way she's... You see the way she's crying? This is your fault. I didn't... You're gonna get the fuck out of my house. Kenneth, please, at least let him... Get the fuck out, Alex. Z Xander... I open my eyes. Drayden's holding the box of tissues out to me. Breathe. I'm crying harder than I thought. The doctor places a paw on my shoulder, holding me tenderly. I take the box and set it on the bed next to me. My breathing steadies after a moment. I snatch a tissue and blow my nose, crumpling it and dropping it next to the box. When I was 16, I moved out. Mom found out I was gay and told Dad. Xander. I was planning on leaving anyway. It's fine. I'm fine. Are you? Yeah. I sniffle and wipe my eyes with another tissue. Drayden makes a disapproving sound. I just didn't have anything planned out yet. I didn't have a lot of friends to go to, so... Alex, what are you doing here? Can I stay with you? Oh, oh, of, of course. It's been a while. What's going on? I'm so sorry, Xander. Where did you end up staying? My old boxing, boxing coach, Vinny. He gave me a place to crash while I figured things out. The one your father didn't like? Yeah. I crumple up my tissue. What kind of messages did they find? He's asking Vinny about gay stuff. I don't know if I was gay, what I should be even be doing, I don't know. I didn't know anything. I was scared, and Vinny was the only adult I knew that had any information about any of that. 
I shouldn't have been sending those messages in the first place. It was a stupid idea. I knew my, how my parents would have reacted. Does that give them justification for kicking you out? They didn't kick me out. I chose to move out. They didn't give you a choice. So I moved out on my own. And you're just okay with that? No! I, I, don't, I don't know what I did wrong. They raised me right. They loved me when I was a kid. Why did that change? The tears follow the stream as they form down my cheeks. I wanted to fix myself. I wanted to stop. I wanted to be better for them. Xander, do you think you could do anything that would make them happy? I shake my head. I don't know. Do you mind if I take some, make some assumptions? The heavy breathing slows a bit before I shake my head. Drain continues, eyes narrowing. You never could be enough, enough for them, no matter what you did or what you changed about yourself. It would never be enough. My head drops. I'm bent forward, holding myself up as I sob into my hands. Giving up boxing and becoming straight, that might have made them happy, but that's not you. Nothing will ever be good enough for them. If they can't bring themselves to be happy with you, that's their own fault. You're so young, Xander. There's so much of your life ahead of you, and it's time you start doing things for your own happiness. You need, you need to consider what's going to make you happy. It takes a moment for me to catch my breath. He's right. I know he's right. I need him to be right. Otherwise, all this anger I've let sit inside me for years will have been for nothing. I mean, for starters, I'd like to stop fighting Bruce. It'd make me pretty fucking stoked. The words feel like acid spilling out of my mouth, but Drayden laughs anyway. I mean, outside of all this, clearly it's still hurting you. I don't know. I, I thought moving out would fix it. I thought it did fix it. But you're still afraid whenever he calls. Yeah. Why haven't you blocked his number yet? Phones can do that these days. I, I don't know. Do you think you'll ever answer the call? I don't know. I'm sorry. He only smiles at me. I don't want you apologizing to me like that, Xander. You haven't done anything wrong. I shake my head. It feels heavy. Yesterday, I got mad at Redline. Oh, he mentioned that. He said he doesn't know why, though. Are you comfortable sharing? The, co the commissioner called me in earlier before that. I thought we were going to talk about the contract or the, or the fights. He just yelled at me about a comment I made on head kick. Raiden starts to ask a question, but I answer it for him. It's a social media site for us exercise types. He smiles and scribbles something down. I was just trying to clarify something, but it kind of blew up, and I guess it broke my contract. I wanted to get my fights figured out. I can't keep fighting Bruce, but the commissioner, he just... didn't listen. He just shut me down. I was trying to defend myself. I'm just trying to stay alive down here. It feels like my body is forcing more tears at this point. I just let them trail down my face. I'd lost it. I don't remember anything after that. I don't know. Sometimes I get mad, and I don't know what to do. It feels like I'm carrying a hundred extra pounds underwater. I can't feel things. My body just drags itself, and I lose control. Drayden wipes something down and then looks back up at me. Does this sort of thing happen often, Xander? It... Mm, I guess so. It happened a lot more often when I lived with my parents. And since you came down here? Yeah, it did. In the cafeteria, Bruce shoved me and I just sort of spaced out. And red line in the gym? Where... And the red line in the gym, when he dropped me and all the other guys saw... Why do you think this happens? Where, where you lock up and can't feel things. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say it has something to do with my parents. Trayton giggles. Well, I'm not going to say that's not the reason, but I think there's more to the core issue. Sure, they might have contributed to the cause, but removing them isn't the whole cure. Even if a wound heals, lasting effects may endure. A person with a broken leg may suffer mobility issues for the rest of their life. So, because of things I had no control over, I'm fucked for life. I'd rather put a positive spin on things. Try seeing it as a chance to modify your behavior in certain circumstances. If someone's shoulder is damaged, they may have a limited range of motion for a long time. I'm sure it might suck a lot, but they can learn their limits and control what they are able to do. So if you find yourself in a position where you can feel one of the one of these uh, episodes coming on, we can try grounding yourself. I hope it doesn't happen, but if you find yourself getting frustrated, I want you to just touch something. Anything physical. Anything that can remind you that you are still here. Grounding can help you realign with reality. Focusing on something in your present moment can help you turn your attention away from these intense negative emotions. Of course, we won't be ignoring them or pretending like they don't exist, but if you can control your mood, you can control your actions easier. And I want you to focus on your breathing, in and out, very slowly. He gives an example of how I meant to breathe, and I mirror it. It's, I'm still a little worked up from earlier, so my breaths are a bit shaky. In and out. In and out. You're just a person breathing. 
That's, th that's all you need to be. You're exactly who you're meant to be. You're doing the best you can. A few moments of breathing. After a while, the shakiness subsides. I have control over my breathing, and my heart rate has died down. How do you feel, Xander? His voice gently peels away the silence. I feel better. Good. I want to thank you for sharing all this with me. I imagine it's not easy to think back on these memories. I try to ignore them. But it's important to learn from them. They're affecting your behavior. It's much easier to make a positive change to your behavior if we're able to take a look at what may have caused them. I guess that makes sense. Wonderful. I think now's a good time to call it for today. I've got another meeting in a bit. But before you leave, is there anything I can do for you? There's a lot of that. There's a lot that I want, but not anything that he can do about it. Feels good to finally have that off my chest, though. I don't think I've shared that with anyone besides Vinny. And why should I? I don't want you to have to deal with that. And I don't want, I don't want to have people treating me different because of it. Still, Drayden doesn't seem to be talking down to me. I don't think there is. What do I do now? Like right now? I suppose you could get some food or read a book or maybe... No, I meant like, what do I do when he calls again? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. What do you want to do? I'm still not sure either. Sorry. He shakes his head and stands up, moving closer to me. Drayden starts picking up the tissues I balled up and dropped on the mattress. I told you before, you don't need to apologize for things like that. Uh, these things can be complicated. All we can do is try to piece things together. But I always think it's easier with a little help. Don't you agree? Yeah, I guess you might be right. I'll take that as a win for me. The two of us chuckle as we finish cleaning up. Drayden makes his way to another office and sees me off to the exit of the med bay. The rest of the day goes by without much of an issue. I didn't really see much of Redline either. Mostly spent in the library. Don't really have much time for reading these days. But now it's two. But now it is two in the morning, and I am absolutely restless. I figured that chat with Drayden would have drained me, but I must have recovered from that uh, from from that over the day. Something isn't sitting right with me. Just then, my phone buzzes. It's a text from Drayden. Hey, Xander, Drayden here. Was thinking about our talk today. Uh, it must be a bit hard for you two to open up for you to open up like that. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Oh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.